Hey everybody, this is El Viejo Toro, Fancy Action Now, Didi Zeta, cosplayer extraordinaire, amazing, crazy model, okay? Hi. She's not trying to be Lollipop Chainsaw, okay? She's not trying to be, um, who was the other one? Who was the other one that you look like? You look like Lollipop, oh yeah, Harley Quinn. Harley Quinn. She's not trying to be Harley Quinn. She's not trying to be Lyrical Fairy Hair. She's trying to be... Didi Zeta, and we are going I have to, to do. Try to be myself. She doesn't have to try anything. She does, <laughs> and that's it. I'm trying, baby. I'm trying. Da -na 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 -na. Okay, but anyway, so what we are going to do today is we are going to do an unboxing of Boom, the Doom Collector's Edition. Wow! Skyrim Collector's Puzzle, of which I ordered two. If you're going to order the puzzle, bro, order two. Okay, get one to play and one for Sunday best that you put into a vault, literally a vault, covered in plastic, put it in a coffee can, bury it in your backyard, leave it as a time capsule, a picture of you, you know, like a selfie at Walmart, and put it in the backyard and forget about it. That's your retirement plan right there, the uh, collectible puzzle from uh, Skyrim, okay? So anyway, yeah, I got two of those. So we're gonna just unveil those. I don't know if we're gonna unbox them, but we're gonna show them. And we are gonna do the, uh, there's a bobblehead, there's a bonus bobblehead that was in a box that I don't think Dee paid attention to, and I could have thrown my box out and the bobblehead along with it, but there's a bobblehead in there, and since every single one with Dee Dee Zeta, we're gonna do it, just out of habit, just out of habit. I'm good okay. at unboxing. Just out of habit, fellas. Just out of habit. So, at any rate, um, that is the video. It is going to be amazingly fun. It is going to be a quickie, or as quick as it possibly can be, with my, uh, uh, you know, my my love the sound of my voice syndrome problem that I have. Uh, and uh, poor Dee Dee. I mean, if you want to count the amount of words... You know, was it women say 6,000 words a day and men say 2,000, but a fancy action now video, I say like 10,000 words and she says like 10. It's like ridiculous. It's I like, don't know words. She's a great straight man. She's a great straight man. Dee Dee Zeta is a great straight man. And that's, that's, what, that's really what she is. She's, she's in a crazy, amazing rapper. She's basically my straight man. She's basically my straight man. What? It comes out now. She's gonna look that up when she gets home too. What does he mean by straight man? I'll figure that out later. I'm yeah, gonna... I don't know what that means. She's like, I don't like confrontation. I don't wanna upset him, he's what big. Is... What does it mean? Anyway. <laughs> Are you familiar with what a straight man is? A heterosexual guy. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no, a straight man. There, there used to be comedy routine that, that were two fellas. Okay. They're very common in vaudeville. The straight yeah, man is the so one who always the gets the pie in the face. Oh. Or you come up and you play against the crazy character. You ever see those shows where there's always like a very straight-laced person going, Yeah, it's like, I don't know what to expect. And then there's always like a crazy guy going, Yeah, man. You know, or whatever. And it's like okay. Abbott Costello, uh, Jerry Lewis and Dean Martin. Dean Martin was a straight man. You don't even know what these names are anyway. Whatever, time, we're done, intro over, fancy action now, unboxing, let's go! I'm bombastic today, what's going on? Every single one! Ah, oh, 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 oh yeah! Okay, LVA Toro in the Zen Lounge with the good camera, with Didi Zeta, uh, we are going to do uh, two different videos today, uh, but we're going to start off with an epic unboxing. I got this in the mail like a week ago, and uh, you know, because of the holiday, Memorial Day, and everything that I had going on there, etc., uh, and Dee Dee wasn't available until today, I thought, well, I'll save it for Dee Dee. We'll do the unboxings. Don't ask me why I save unboxings for Dee Dee. I get, again, she's a straight man and she's a good one. So we talked about what a straight man is. Dee, what do you know about doing? I played it once or twice. And, and you know what her what her function is, and uh, and uh, she does it so very well. But this is one of my favorite games of all time, Doom. I was an early Doomer man on the PC on a 386, and then a 486, 
and then a Pentium 2 and etc. etc. I've been a Doom fan since the very beginning. But the original free uh, uh, shareware of Doom, I played that. Uh, I've been a Doom fan since the very beginning, Captain Quasar and all that. So, um, you know, I heard the new Doom was coming out. Now, Doom, uh, you know, uh, the last Doom or Doom 3 or whatever you want to call it, um, was amazing. And I know for some reason it gets a hard time. It's, it was too dark, which was the whole point of it. Uh, it was a whole, it was basically a huge high-tech haunted house and I loved it and it was great. There were jump scares galore. Yes, did the jump scares get overused? Don't care. <laughs> Underwear. It was great and I love the game. It was fantastic. Um, it is the, one of the most famous games of all time. It definitely reinvigorated the gaming industry single-handedly, for real. Changed the way we game single-handedly again. So, and you know, I know it's evil and it's like Satanism and all the rest of it and all that. To, to, to be honest, don't care about all that. <laughs> don't care about all that. Uh, you know, I know it's, it's had some controversy about being violent, being evil, being satanic. There's rituals and black candles and demonic portals and you know, whatever. Uh, whatever. I, I've always enjoyed Doom. It's freaking amazing. The game mechanic is amazing. I have not played the new game. I did go on Bethesda's website and get the collector's edition with the Revenant statue. Ooh. One of the most feared enemies in Doom because they have a lot of hit points. They have missile launchers on their shoulder and they can blow you away in one to two hits. If both missiles connect, you're gone. Okay, I don't care what armor you got, you got that 100 armor, it don't matter. Okay, you, the Revenant will take you down, and if he gets up on you, cold cocks you and knocks you and kills you like that, he'll shoot you with a missile. He gets up close and says, Bop, you're done. So, he has always been a uh, intimidating. I always thought the Revenants were actually more intimidating than the Barons of Hell. I could kite the Barons of Hell around all day long and, for the most part, typically kill them. But the Revenants, I always feared those Revenants. They're fast, they're agile, they have unlimited missiles, they shoot them constantly at you. Uh, again, if they get into proximity, boom, boom. If you come out of cover, blast you. So it's, it, it was a good choice. It was a good choice. I was wondering what they were going to pick for their collectible statue, and they chose the Revenant, and I'm like, mm, I, at first I don't know if I was happy about it, but now I really understand. If you're a Doom fan, from a gameplay perspective, you get it. And the Revenant is uh, definitely a unique and very special enemy in the Doom series. Petey, what do you know about Doom? I played it once or twice. Louder. I played it once or twice um, a while ago. It would have been on, like, Xbox, maybe? Or you played Xbox? Xbox Doom, maybe? Yeah. Maybe Doom 3? Probably. Probably, because that's Not the... Xbox 360, but, like, the original Xbox. Yeah. Yeah. The original Xbox, that would probably be like a Doom collection. Because I don't think the Doom 3, or maybe Doom 2, or Doom collection maybe. Or maybe it was on PS2. It was in that era. Mm. It would have been about 10 years ago. Let's hear it in the comments, guys. What is your, what is your, um, what is your iteration of Doom? What was your main one? My main one, honestly, uh, had the most gameplay ever, was Doom 2. I sucked at it. Doom, yeah. <laughs> Doom 2 is, um, yeah, that's mainly, that's one of those ones that does not cross gender that much. I would love to hear from girl Doom fans about if you play Doom, if you like Doom, if you're a hardcore Doom fan. Most hardcore Doom fans that I, I'm aware of are guys. So why is that? Is it just because it's evil or it's gory or, or I whatever? I like watching other people play it because it was like fun and scary. Mm -hmm. I just wasn't good at it. So that's why I was like... Dee Dee Zeta, the very... Like, Man. The perfect girlfriend like likes to watch video games. Fantastic. <laughs> she likes to be the audience, guys. Isn't that nice? How many, how many, how many video game widows out there are just harassing their men as we speak about gaming and what? That's boring for me. What do I do? I just watch you. Is that what you expect me to do? Is just sit and watch you? You cheer the woman. You could get me a beer and make me a sandwich. Oh no, 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 no. We are we are gender neutral here at Fancy Action. Uh, Whatever. Uh, 
<laughs> anyway, so this is the Doom Collection unboxing. It's going to be a quick unboxing video. I thought I would rant about Doom for my 10 minute rant. Uh, also, from the Bethesda store, they have these. I totally recommend you pick up two. Two of the Skyrim Collector's Puzzle. It's a 550 piece puzzle. And if you're a real puzzler, that's like, you could do that while you're sleeping. But um, it is the Skyrim map with all of the holds and all of the, the road map and, and whatever. And it's awesome. It's gorgeous. And I got one for, for me and one for Sunday Best. Uh, and as I said in my previous introduction, take an oily rag, wrap it up, put it in a coffee can, put some old gum in there, and bury it for the nuclear apocalypse. So that they, when they dig it up, from another planet and go, what happened to their society? This, this, this. The only thing left. This. <laughs> They'll be like, this is what destroyed them. Anyway, <laughs> it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Anyway, so we got two of them. Um, we have a side cam here. We're doing side cam. We hopefully it works. But uh, I've jacked up the side cam. Like, if you watch my videos and you're like, He's talking about side cam footage, where is it? Well, it's because I jacked it up. And even in one of my videos, the latest one, I'm like, yeah, I didn't jack it up. I, I jacked it up. So hopefully this is unjacked up to the wall and uh, we, will, we, will be, um, we will be able to showcase the, um, this stuff legitimately, okay? So we're, gonna, we're not gonna unbox these. We're not going to box these. I'm going to uh, unbox this privately in a room by myself in a fetal ball or something. But Skyrim collectible puzzle. Buy two of them and keep one wrapped up. Take my word for it, yo. They're tw I think they're 10 bucks or 20 bucks or whatever they are. Buy two, save one. Keep it wrapped, put it in, put it in a closet. You know, don't let your mom see it. Put it in a shoe box. Wrap it up with your Playboys or whatever. All right, so I'm gonna go get an implement of destruction, or maybe I won't, maybe I'm just gonna use my keys right here. In the interest of time, Dee Dee has, as I said in the intro, she has unboxed every single bobblehead on this channel. She ain't stopping now, baby, go! Go, baby, go, baby, go, baby, go! Small guns. Small guns, fellas. Yeah, we're gonna pull big guns out. Because you know how you guys like talk like you're this, but you're really this? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Booyah! Ooh. Oh, and he's got a gun accessory. I love how this is like shielding my body from nuclear radiation over here. Okay, she is going to figure it out. <laughs> DD Zeta officially has a triple digit IQ. So we trust her with compliments. He's going to put his finger on the trigger. Did you bend his finger? No. No? It just goes in there. Triple digit IQ, everybody. Triple digit IQ. It pays off. The first two digits are zeros. <laughs> <laughs> all right, go ahead and put them together. Small guns. Because you're, you're picking them all. You're picking everything out right there. Small guns, I put them like out there on the peninsula. Did you hear that, everybody? Peninsula? Just like Ursula? Okay. Since I did my last Fallout unboxing, yes, I played Fallout One. All right. Okay. Let's hear it. And I liked it. Okay. Okay. She played the original Fallout, so she's got more credibility than I have. I've never played the original. Ooh. I never played the original. Yeah, I played it on PC. My first one was three on the Xbox 360. I played the hell out of it. I didn't play it for like all the way through. I just played like. For maybe an hour or two, and I went to like the first couple towns of the first quest. I killed the scorpions in the cave, mm -hmm. and I found a some like a hired mercenary to come with me. His name was Ian, I think his name was. Wow. Yeah. Didi Zeta. I hate to say it, but she is. Ex I, you know what? You know what makes me feel good is that I've kind of pulled her back into gaming a little bit. I think. 
Yeah. Or the videos have. I'm not going to take credit because God knows she's not going to give it to me. But, <laughs> but, as like I love the fact that she's like kind of reignited her interest in that. And I do my best to kind of turn her on to stuff and new games and to pull her into that life <laughs> and get her to drink the Kool-Aid and come join us and gets creepy culty and you know, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Fancy action now, baby. It's a religion. No, not yet. Anyway, so Small Guns is the newbie. Small Guns is the latest one. I've been wanting to get Small Guns for a long, long time. And he is cute. And don't worry, fellas, if you're really small guns versus big guns, it gets the job done. It's okay. Don't worry. <laughs> Dee has no comment. She's like, I'm just gonna... No, I like small guns. Oh my god. Yeah. I think I even use that attribute when I play. See? Yeah. Yeah, small guns. Small guns, baby. You can't walk around with that heavy armament all the time. <laughs> mm -mm, you're tired out, baby. And small guns comes along and steals your crap. All right, here we go. This is the official, I think I can just like roll this off. This is the official unboxing of Doom. He ruined the box. The most important part. And he ruined it. Can you believe it? Mm -hmm. I just saw a stick out of the room, yo. Yeah. <laughs> and I get a knife. Oh my God. She's like, don't worry, small guns. <laughs> small guns, Rob. Small I'm not guns. afraid of the small guns. Small guns. Just keep that in mind, buddy. <laughs> All right, let's see. So it's got like a, it's got like a leaf or a sleeve here. Or something. Ah, oh, 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 oh. Now who has the three-digit IQ? <laughs> that was a compliment. I said triple-digit IQ. The average IQ in the United States is 50. It's like no, it's <laughs> it's, it's under 100. It's under 100. Okay. I also I did damage the box again. It's almost impossible though. Okay. I think it's what's inside that matters. Oh my God, he takes batteries too. Oh, he does something. Ooh, he I didn't does. even know that. I thought it was a statue. He does things. He does things. Ooh. All right. Keep working. Quit chirping and keep working. Okay. Oh. Ooh. Uh oh. The hey, metal yeah. case yeah. version of the game. Well, I'm gonna come around the other side. Da na 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 na. Here we go. Ooh. Production value. Hey. Ooh, hey, that. is this me? Yeah, it's me. Okay. Yeah. Mmm. Oh. You want to like bring it over there and like spoke on it a little bit? Bring it, bring it closer. Cause that one just has a wide focus. I got you. Huh? Yeah, you just hold it right there because it's got a wide focus. Yeah, there you go. I think this is a better setup. I think you're right. Did everybody hear that? I just told Dee Dee she was right. Okay. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh, uh. I'm just, always right. Just in case this goes to court. Yeah. <laughs> it will. <laughs> He's like, Your Honor, where's my residual check? Alright. I have video footage. Video evidence. There's like 15 views on that video. He's making money. <laughs> Alright, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh. Alright, now I I did I did kind of hose the box. I did kind of hose the box. You broke it. I did kind of hose it, because now I got a little, I got a rip, I got a tear. No. I got a big tear oh. right on the front, no. right on the front too. No. I know that there are psycho anal retentive collectors out there going, ah, but it's, I'm okay, I'm okay. I'm living, I'm living. All right, go ahead, mm -hmm. boom. All right, so we got Doom, the Revenant in the, the, the steel case. Oh, careful, careful, come out with you. There you go, see that? I like that. Uh, so oh my god! It comes with batteries. Oh my, oh and it comes with batteries from Uzbekistan or something. <laughs> Deanda, there's Deanda 
batteries, whatever that means. If Super. It, if it didn't have a D and that was another N, that would be my actual, Deanna? My actual name. I know. You know what? Dee Dee Zeta, I left her a voicemail. And it was a goofy voicemail. It was actually, I was supposed to be calling somebody else. Oh, yeah. So I left her kind of this, I didn't even listen to I left her kind of this creepy voicemail. And, um, um, oh, yeah, there's a fan underneath him, I think, that spins and lights up. So this is the Revenon. The, the, the Revenon. And he is something special. And what we're going to have to do is, I'm going to get on the side cam, and we're going to do a close-up of him. So, and we'll have Dee Dee, yes, what, what is your question? Oh, look at the fan. Ooh, oh, the fan's yeah. moving bad down there, yeah. Cool. And he lights up, too. So we're going to pop these batteries out. Go ahead, do it. Is it the batteries? Know. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's got to be where the batteries go. Oh, you can't. Oh. Oops, I found the on and off. Okay. Okay. That's the oh, other batteries one. are here. We need a screw. Screwdriver, a little one. A little baby one. Here we go. Oh, it's lighting up and it's spanning. Yeah. Ooh. That's awesome. Ooh. Is that cool as shit or what? Yeah. Now, some collectors' editions are a bunch of bunk, as I've said in previous videos, where they just they roll off some new copies and they give you like a fancy cover, like give you a steel case. You know, that's that's like okay, but this. This kind of collector's edition, it's totally worth it. Totally worth it. There he is, everybody. And we are going to give him a look-see. That just like sits there. Booyah, look at Dee Dee's like, give me some recognition. See what I did? I fixed it. You fixed it. She fixed it right up too. All right, so the Revenant. Ooh. The Revenant Collector's Edition statue, and it is definitely not a chintzy statue. I actually thought it was going to be about this big. You know how you get it? I think, I, I think they scaled it up one size, and they should have, because it was totally worth it. When you, so cool. when you think about that you get the complete edition of the game uh, with this, it's really not a bad deal either. For the statue itself, it lights, it has motion, it's got an actual... Um, fan on the bottom and I think what we're, we might do is shut the lights off and show you the Revenant in his LED glory oh, you, yeah moving. now you can see him you can see his light and the fan reflecting off of him we're gonna go even further boom check out the Revenant and he even matches my red LEDs on my game stack. Oh damn, it's so cool in here. So, ooh, ooh, I mean, he, he is something special. He's so creepy. The Revenant's lighting effect from the fan on his base. Uh, it's a fan underneath it. It is a full bladed fan uh, with LED lights. So he's like standing on an air vent with the lights flickering over his... Uh, carapace i guess uh and uh, just looking just looking just looking righteous so um again this is the revenant collectible statue for doom four awesome there you go there is the revenant statue looking looking sweet we love it we love it so you've got the Doom Collector's Edition. Essentially, other than the big box I ruined, you got the Revenant statue. It's totally cool. He's really a little bit flexible, too. Like, he's firm on there, but he, but he has a little bit of a waggle on him. But it's not a bad waggle. It's not like a loose waggle. Um, yeah, he's got like a little bit of fl flex to him, and I think that's a good thing, because you have a tendency to crack that. And they put, yeah. I think they probably did that on purpose, to just give him a little bit of flexibility. So it doesn't break. Yep. And the Revenant, of course, emblazoned on the new logo of Doom. He mm -hmm. looks great. It looks awesome. The Revenant does kind of encapsulate the twisted evil that is Doom and the, you know, the fiendish blending of man and machine and demon together in one glorious whole. If I can say that. So um, I like how they go. I like how they've always kept it simple with Doom. 
simple logo, <laughs> doom. I mean, it just, mm -hmm. it's straight up, you know exactly what it is. It's simple, it's pure, it's evil. Uh, it is amazing gameplay. I have yet to actually play this version of Doom. I've played all the other ones. So um, I actually got the PC edition, and I wish I'd have gotten the P PS4 edition, but um, I got the PC edition, uh, so I'm excited. It is a mature rated game, id and Bethesda. I mean, what do you want? What a collision of talent. So I'm very anxious to put this in and play it. And uh, we, we're going to see if maybe we will do some Let's Plays. I, I think hopefully if I can get it to run on my aging laptop, it's, it's, it's getting there. Uh, and it's having trouble running some of the new stuff now. But uh, it's still a solid machine. So I'm going to see if I can get it to run on here. And, you know, and at least maybe in the, you know, the least optimized settings available. But, um, <laughs> and see if I can get it done. But that wraps up. Oh, yeah. Oh.